分析。Hello, Rider Fest viewers. This is Rebirth, and today I'll be reviewing the SIC Common Rider Deno Liner Form, part of Volume 45. So, like all my other reviews, let's Rider Kickstart this review. For more information on the SIC line, head over to Giltar's Introduction to SIC, which he created during Week One of Rider Fest. If you're really interested in these line of figures, find out what you're getting into first. The Volume 45 packaging is actually pretty nice. It has this nice silver reflective text all over it, as well as steampunky designs. Despite all the twist ties found on both figures in this set, it's pretty nice. It also has a silver reflective backing in the box as well. On the back of the box, you have various promotional images of both Kamen Rider Deno liner form and Xeranos Zero form. You also get images of the accessories that they use and images of the accessories themselves. You also get some useless information for North Americans on the bottom. And once you head over to the barcode, you see that this set retails for 6,000 yen. First up, let's take a look at some of the details found on the figure. Liner form has these nice translucent yellow parts on the chest, which look like headlights. There's a bunch of sculpted detail all over the body. The paint apps are pretty good. I haven't seen any blemishes and whatnot that much. Uh, the metallic red is beautiful, the silver, the matte black on the shoulders. Uh, it's really, really nice. The big red compound eyes return, and they're beautiful as ever. You also have these imagine colored highlights on the side of the head. The waist is kind of a bit weird looking. The rider belt is on one plate, so if you want to move it around, you have to move the entire plate around, though it helps with some of the articulation. You also have parts of the Den Yasher and the Kataro's phone on the belt. The legs aren't that amazing. They're pretty much reused for all the Deno SIC figures. The metallic red found on the Shen Guards look pretty good. Uh, they're die cast as well as the anklets and the bracelets. And at the thighs, you have these nice silver parts under clear plastic. Believe it or not, this guy has pretty amazing articulation. The arm can move up about this far. The shoulder armor can move at a separate hinge. The arm can spin a full 360. And the arm is at a ball joint so it can swivel. Pretty nice. You also get 270 degree bicep movement. It's not that bad considering this guy is human after all. The elbows are double jointed so they can bend at two points. You get a really good human-esque look about it. Also the hands, they're connected at pegs, so they can spin a full 360. Like with the other hands that come with this figure, the hands can pop off and be swapped out. They also have a hinge attached to them, so you can adjust however you want the hands to look like. Liner Form's head articulation isn't that great. It can only bend down about this far and go that far up. Not too bad, but once you spin the head, it can only go about that far and about that far around. Kind of bad in my opinion, but it can also do a chicken head and quagmire. Hi. The torso is meh at best. It can bend down that far, and spin this way, and that way about that far. It can also bob down to each respective side. And I guess you can consider that this plastic plate has a little bit of articulation. The holsters for the Dengasher parts can move up about this far, and this far down, and can also spin a full 360. They're connected to the waist via peg. An interesting thing about the Kataro's phone on the belt 
it can be popped off to reveal the original Deno belt, which is solid die cast. Really surprising. Depending on who you are, the leg articulation may or may not impress you. The leg joints are kind of a bit too solid, but it's okay. The leg can move up about this far, and about this far back. Kind of easier this time, I guess. You also get some inner thigh movement. In and out, in and out. And he can almost do the splits. Actually, it's not that bad. Since Lighter Form reuses the Deno series legs, the armor flaps can be moved down at the thighs and the silver pieces can be removed. This feature isn't really useful here, as it was mostly used with the Dano Sword Form and Momotaros. I don't think I have to ever open these up again. Like with the elbows, the knees are double jointed, so they bend at two points for that nice human-esque action looking thing. The feet are somewhat disappointing. It's mostly the ankle joint is what kills it. It can move up about this far and down this far. Not that much actually. <laughs> they can move outwards and inwards, though the inwards angle is kind of better-ish. The only real functional thing the feet have is the toe bend! It's amazing! Liner form has an array of hands. You get two stock clenched fists, but you also get two open splayed hands and two finicky SOBs known as holding things hands. With those two holding things hands, you can have Deno hold the Den Common Sword. This awesome broad or buster sword is pretty detailed. You can even switch out the heads. Uh, you can have it in a Momo Sword mode, Urarad mode, Kin Axe mode, and Ryu Gun mode. Dance, dance, dance. Aside from that, there are no other moving parts, though you can remove the tip of the blade for a possible finisher. That I'm not sure of. One more thing that this figure comes with is a Rider Pass, which you can stick into the Den Common Sword as so. And now it's complete. Yeah! Remember when I was calling these hands SOBs? Well, they're a bitch to get in the handle. The plastic almost has no pull whatsoever. Though once you get the hand in the handle, everything looks nice, but that hinge in the hand causes the sword to tink over. It's kind of bad, though there are some poses to get rid of that problem. You can have him swing it over his neck. Or you can have him trying to lift the sword off the ground. Hey, it's Ryotaro. He's normally weak. But once you get both holding things hands in the sword, everything is A-OK. -okay. Like I said, everything is A-OK -okay now. And here we have Deno Liner Form about to perform his finisher. Den Shagiri! Yeah, you can have Deno in a rider kick, but the size and weight of this SIC is a bit too much for these Tamashii stage stands. Especially when the joints are weak like this Act 2 I have. For size comparisons, I'm going to bring in a few things. Here's the 1-100 Master Grade Exia. Here's the 1-144 to scale High Grade Gundam Exia Repair 2. Here's the SH Figure Arts Kabuto. Here's the Kiwami Tamashi Fies. And here's the Final Fantasy VII player at Yuffie. Almost in scale. Hmm. This could be fun. Lineform has two more accessories. These are the Den Gasher parts. They don't really do much aside from adding them to the belt holsters. But yeah, they're nice looking. This last accessory is an additional Deno belt. For what reason, I don't know but apparently there is a splayed hand holding it in the instructions. I don't know why. All in all, SIC Kamen Rider Deno Lighter Form is an amazing figure. For its price, you're picking up two figures with chunks of accessories for both. It does have its flaws, but the one reason that people might not pick this up is that they might not be fans of Deno or the design in general, also because of its high price.
Though for what you're getting and the size of this figure, I think it's well worth it. But I guess that's just me. So I'll leave it at that for now. And until next time guys, see ya. Enjoy the rest of Rider Fest!